Welcome to the 3D Ghost Universe, a place dedicated to 3D creation and 3D printing. In this video, I will share with you an overview about 3D Builder by Microsoft. This is certainly not the most powerful software, but it's a good software to begin with 3D Mansion. If you don't find it on your computer, you just have to launch the Microsoft Store and you will be able to download it for free. In this first part, we will talk about modifying an already existing object that we will find into the free 3D library. When you will open 3D Builder, you will have this uh, first scene that will uh, give you the possibility to learn more about the software, for example. But this is more a uh, commercial thing in order to show you some features that you will be able to create and buy in real life by a 3D printing external services. To be honest with you, don't have any interest for me and to be perfectly clear, this kind of 3D object, you will not be able to create that with 3D Builder, so forget about it. Available in 3D Builder is a free library from Microsoft in order to have access to already created 3D objects. For example, I will look for the cat, the low poly cat that we already used in other videos about Paint 3D or 3D Viewer. Here you have the cat and you can see that and modify that. But once again, you will not be able to create it from scratch in 3D Builder. This is not possible. When I'm talking about modification, maybe I can illustrate that by example. So, you have this cat in the middle of the plate, of the world, I don't know how you will call that. But the first modification that you can do on this 3D object is that you will be able to change the size of the object. Here you have X, Y, Z. So you have the X, you have Z, and you have this is simple, this is a 3 dimension, and when you are changing the size, you are deforming the global object. I will undo everything. And the simplest way to change the size of an object without destroying anything is to lock this MNB. You will change the Z axis because you want to change the size, bam, everything changed. It's lock, it's all good. With resizing, you also have the possibility to rotate and to move. This is very basic, very classical stuff. But one thing is good with 3D Boulder, and you will find it in preferences, and I think that by default it's okay, in settings, you have snapping. And snapping is a good tool, because here you find it snap it very quickly with, with the, what we can call the floor. So let's continue to talk about the modification and we will go, oh, this of course is always visible on your screen, but you can change right here and go to object and then you will have few options for the object, copy, past, delete, etc. Duplicate, of course, it's duplicating, I will undo that. Settle is a good one because maybe if you moved it a little bit it will settle the object to the floor so regarding 3d printing by settling the object it will place the object into the bed where we, you will print with your 3d printer so it's a good way to have the perfect angle for a 3d object if you cannot do it in other software big fail with 
a little angle. Okay, this time it's better. And of course you have mirror that will perfectly mirrored. I don't know if it's a verb or not, <laughs> but it will do a mirror to the object. So you can maybe duplicate it and then you have a mirror and then you have two cat in front of each other. No, side by side with a perfect mirror effect. So back to one low poly cat right here and we will try what is under edit. The first one is simplify. Simplify, you, you will find it in uh, a lot of software about 3D, 3D object and 3D creation. It's an, a modifier that will help you to reduce the number of face and triangles on a mesh. In this example, you don't have a lot of faces because it's a low poly object. But the problem is that with 3D Builder, you can do what you want from 0 to 6. I don't know why, what is 0 to 6, uh, wh what is the action behind this. You don't have any explanation and in 3D Builder, it's always this kind of, um, of way to do 0 from 6. But it's always a big fail when I try to reduce something in 3D Builder. So I think that Simplify is... Uh, I don't know the word to be polite, but it's not working. Let's go to split. Split, it's simple. You move it and it will split your object. And you will have the possibility to keep the top, the bottom, or both sides of the object. If you keep both sides, you split, you now have two different object and this is the moment to speak about this right here on the right side if you group the object you will create a group with the two meshes with the two objects so the modification that you will do will be applied to both you can ungroup of course and i will not talk about select all deselect all i think that you perfectly understand what it means so now that we have two objects you can separate them and as you can see 3d builder add a huge face right here in order to don't have an object with a hole inside this is a printable object if you don't know what i mean by that you can watch a previous video about 3d object and 3d printable object but you have to know that when the object is completely filled, it's okay. Your printer will be able to print it. You don't have to worry about the thickness of the object. Okay, let's undo that. Undo the split. You have this option that is called smooth, and it will uh, it will be the contrary to. Okay. Let's take a look. It will be the contrary to simplify. It will add a lot more of triangle in order to smooth the object. Let me try to smooth everything. As you can see, it's a bug. But it kept the cut that we already made in to the cat but it's a good thing because you can see how it works it's smooth and it's smooth all the edges in order to have a round cut if i cancel it you cannot see the cut anymore okay i i know why it's doing that because if we ungroup we still have two different objects i forget i forgot to undo this but this is not a problem if you cut something you can do the exact opposite by selecting the object that you want to merge and simply click on merge and then you will have only one pieces it's easy for this cat because we cut it in two but you will be able to merge different object 
So let's go to smooth once again, and then you have a perfect smooth around all the mesh. Maybe we are adding more details and it will be even smoother. Okay, I almost killed 3D Builder. Now it's okay. With Moose, we validate the fact that we accept this kind of uh, smoothness. And now if we go to simplify, you will see that it really increases the number of faces. And it's working a lot. Why? Because now the mesh and the object is very, very complicated to, to calculate for the computer, even if my computer is good, because it it's a result of a lot of triangle. I will try to reduce it and maybe this time simplify will work. We accept the fact that we want to reduce the faces. Okay. It's still difficult to work on the mesh, so I think that this is a lot. I think that this is almost a fail. Let's go to simplify. Oh, okay, it's a fail. Simplify is not working. I will now talk about a modifier that I think is completely useless in 3D Builder, but maybe it will help you, so I will talk quickly about it, is the extrude modifier. Extrude means that you take a part of the mesh and you extrude it, you grab it and you, you create a new form, a new part of the object by extruding it. So for example, I decided that this part of the mesh will be extruded right down to the floor. Okay, as you can see, we have a huge cylinder. Maybe I will try to load and to open my friend, my low poly cat, and I will decide to apply this extrude modifier from just from here. It's working and now you can see it create an extra extra thing extra mesh I, I don't know how to explain that right to to the floor quite useless uh, in 3d builder extrude modifier are uh, extrusion is very important in uh, blender for example but in 3d builder uh, I don't see the point or maybe to be fair you can have one use of this maybe for example if you want to print I will take a cone and I will put a rotation okay if you want to print this it will be really complicated for your 3d printer to begin with such a little piece of uh, material so I think that if you want to create a base you can do extrude down just for a part maybe like this okay it changes shape and this is something that uh, your 3d printer will be able to to handle so not totally useless maybe you can use it for that before talking about intersect and substrate, I will go to the creation part, to the insert, in order to add a mesh, a new mesh, to this 3D Builder plane. So I will add a cube, for example, and now by adding cube, I can change the size, the dimension, the position, the rotation. You understand that. So if I go to edit, I will not have the possibility to choose this, those two modifiers, those two options, because you need an other object, and this is quite logical. Maybe I will add this one. 
as you can see the two the, a new object is always created at the same position so you will have to move it or to change the side of it I will move in order to see it but if you want you can go to view and decided to activate the x-ray mode that will allow you to see an object inside another one okay I will not talk about the wireframe for the moment but other are quite simple to understand you can have the color or not a smoothing effect or not the shadow with the light and you can center the view and you can add a grid by default it's a good grid so now that we have two objects if we go to edit you can have the possibility to subtract and what is a subtraction simply you will delete the common part of both meshes so by doing that I will select this one and I want to have inside this mesh a hole that will be represented by the intersection of both object I will undo that I will select my cube and if I select my cube and I subtract I will cut the common part but keeping the this one this mesh so I will select the cube subtract as you can see it cut it I will undo everything and I will keep my two object but you understand now then you can cut an object with an other one if you select both now you have intersection and as you can read right here it keep the intersection of two object so you just have this little part this is a kind of boolean this is what you will see uh, as a modifier in blender for example and we'll talk about it when i will use boolean in um, some of my tutorials but you have to know that in 3d builder you can have simple action like those so let's go back to the default cube and i will now explain what is the hollow modifier it's quite simple by default a 3d object is an hard object everything inside the object is a hard surfaces so if you want to have a, a box for example you need to hollow it but to have around the object faces with a thickness that your 3d printer will be able to print if it's paper thick it's not possible for the 3d printer to print it it's if it's one millimeter it's okay so by using the hollow modifier it will ask me what is the thickness that i want to to give to the the wall the wall around the cube so two one and a half one and a half is good so i will hollow the cube nothing change it changed but in the inside so if you want to see the inside you can split it for example and i say that will i will keep the bottom and i will split it from here and now i have a cube and one and a half millimeters walls and this object will be able to be print if i had another cube i will split it without having the hollow modifier okay it's still full so your printer will print a cube here your printer will print a box quite simple and finally I will talk about the last modifier that you have under edit this one emboss by clicking on emboss you will have the possibility to add a text
that will be a projection into your mesh for example this cube you can change of course the font you can change the color of the top and of the side of what you are adding i will let you do your test you can decide if it's planar cylinder or spherical spherical with a little word like this you cannot see anything i will change i will change maybe i can decide it to add uh, this moon for example okay cylinder spherical no still not working okay i will decide to load an image maybe this one this png then you will understand spherical all right it's much better cylindrical sorry not spherical spherical it's a sphere okay let's go back to the classic to the planner and now i can decide if i want a bevel or not it's hard to explain what is a bevel so you will simply have a look without bevel it's more like a stamp i will undo that and this time i will do with the bevel all right the shape is quite different it adds some angles <laughs> 